good morning. We are back in the Lake District and what a morning have we got ahead of us. We are in the Wasdale area. We're staying near Santon Bridge and even right behind us. I uh, don't know if you're picking this up but you can see as far uh, as to the, the peaks there in the hills of Wasswater. Well today we're going to do Scaffell Pike. We've been trying to do this for a number of years and today it's a reality. So come with us as we, we drive the short journey. Um, we're going to start from the National Trust car park. And um, when I say us, it's Morning. Andrea and I. <laughs> And we are off, off on our adventures. There's Andrea. Already, Andrea? Yes. So, through the gap. Over this cattle grid. And there we are, straight in front of us where we're going. So this little spot, take left and follow Andrea. And we're already getting some spectacular views. I'm just doing a bit of reading here. There's our path snaking up the hill. progress on the way up you can, you can see the ants on the hill up there there's quite a lot of people climbing up so <laughs> we're not gonna get lost today <laughs> this is the day our new king is visiting Northern Ireland so we'll remember that <laughs> forever he's on his tour of the UK nations He's visiting Hillsborough Castle today and we were there a couple of weeks ago. Well, we were having coffee in the coffee shop. But James, Hannah, Abbey and Poppy visited the gates as well. So it's quite a shrine at the moment. But these are historic days. It's an historic day to climb Scaffell Pike. That's lovely. A lot of water. And the problem with a lot of water is that all that water has made the pathway a bit more tricky. People are going further up across. This is where you're meant to cross here. So let's see what we do. Okay, we've got to cross okay. Well, nobody's crossing here today, they're all crossing further up. But uh, just because we had boots on, we sticks, we were able to do it. So, Andrea, how's it going so far? It's fucking great. Apparently, we're stopping for 10 minutes to have a wee snack. I told him he was very generous <laughs> for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm all heart, Andrea. Yeah. All heart. We're, we're moving on up. I think the next landmark is Hollow Stones. But it's still a bit of a grunt up this stairway. Very clear at the moment. It's 
quite a bit more traffic on the path now. So obviously the late starters are catching us up. <laughs> I don't care how long it takes us today, just as long as we get to the top. Up and down safely is the is the goal. So at this point we go left. Right takes you up to Mickledore. Left is left is Lingmill Call. Up this way. I think we've now reached the bit called Hollow Stones. And we've got to navigate our way through this. But it's pretty obvious where we go here and we can see the ants in the distance. It's really easy to find your way across this because it's, it's crystal clear where to go. No signposts needed. I quite like this section actually. It's a bit of a recovery section. Okay. We're now coming up to a bit that's been repaired and it's fenced off so we have to Slightly detour, right? That's just fine. We can do that. But I'm just going to give you a bit of a, a spin round because it's absolutely glorious at the moment. You know, see Sellafield, and beyond Sellafield is the Isle of Man, clearly seen that. So, this is the a new path that's been made. Sort of zigzags around the hill here. Okay, we just keep marching on. We're really getting on well now. Starting to get up quite high. There's the views. Wow, absolutely brilliant. We have progressed very, very well. So, Ling Mel is on the left, and we can see the path up to it. And then Gaffel Pike is up here, but the clouds have come in, unfortunately. That's not good. Not, not good. Yeah. Here comes Andrew on the ascent. The final push, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it has got very, very misty and yet the sun's trying to break through so we're hopeful that the clouds will, will clear the sun will break through the sun is really trying to come out now and you can see people on the ridge up there yeah oh lovely it's warm it is warm boy it is warm but we need to go up up this bit here and then go there what's actually happened now is that the the clouds have cleared over Scaffold Pike, but the Borrowdale and Lingwell you can't see. But let me just show you. It's all cleared over here. We've got a cloud inversion now. I think that's great gable. Sticking up there, isn't that incredible? And then the rest of that, the valley. Leading the way up to the top is Andrea, as usual. There we are, first view of the top. Andrea said a few words there of uh, exclamation and a few other things. Tell you, we're going to do it, Andrew. You are going to do it. Do you want to run now? Right, look who's first to the top. There's no, it's never been a competition, but there she goes.
Well done. Well done, Andy. Well done. I better go and do it myself. Oh, I'll just approve of being here. Yo. Boom! Let's do the 360. Photos are taken, lunch, lunch is over, time to descend. Yeah, just take your time. There's a few now down to Derwent Water. Stiehead Torrent, Great Gable. Slightly for a few hundred yards, and then take another left and head up. Thing mail in front of us, so we head right. So we head along this path for a little bit. That's the scaffold hike path that we came up. But we're going up. Ziggy's eggs. And we'll put the map tells us to go right first of all before we pick up a path to the left. And we always follow the map, don't we, Andrew? Okay, so now heading over to Ling Mail. What a view we are getting of the Borrowdale Valley. There's, there is Skidaw and Glen Cathra straight in front of us. Castle Crag, you can even see there. Wow, lovely. Lovely. And there is a great cable. Oh, wow. That's one for later on in the week. Great cable. Thursday, I think, Andre. Now, we've seen a few people up here, but not many. Everybody seems to go up to Scaffold Pike and come down the same route. Well, we're doing a little bit of flat walking now, which is really unusual for today, but we're loving that. Absolutely loving it. Actually loving feeling grass on our feet. But we're about to do the big Steep climb up behind us. So, really, really good. But this is a wee bit steep here now, so put the camera away and we we'll get going. Oh, and we've had a little incident there where Andrea has lost a little bit of her kit, a minor piece of kit, and I went down the mountain to try and find it, but the no avail. No oh, well, sentimental value. Sentimental okay. value, but we we'll just have to reinvest in something else. But uh, <sighs> yeah. We're, we're enjoying walking on the grass here, which is, which is great. Yes, that looks very... Um, Difficult? It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We bone still, Sandra. Okay. The last push up to Ling Mel. There it is, there's the summit. 
they are. Yeah, I'm to keep going. Not quite as busy as Scaffell Pike, but close to it. Okay, Andre? Well done. Well done. Well done. drop down there. Quite spectacular. Yeah. Quite spectacular. So the descent from Ling Mel now underway. Andrea is leading the charge. She picked up the path immediately. Absolutely glorious. So we have to go to the right of this head in front of us, skirt around it, and then find a path down the nose back to Bosdale. Uh, I don't know what it is about Andrea and descending, but I can't keep up with her. And I didn't promise her the hurdy shop or any other shop. She's <laughs> it's just going to go train. And she's actually picking up the path perfectly. I haven't really talked much to the camera today, but it is great to be back in the lakes once more. And to have ticked off Scaffville Pike from the bucket list is, is, is great. And uh, there's a few more that we want to do in the next 10 days and hopefully we'll get the weather to do that. Hello. Do you come here often? Not often enough. It's a classic. Classic. Across the, the wall here, following the path, west water is Right, and a oh, view of the sea. Andrea's singing, Mountain Fever, Scaffell, Scaffell Pike. Just look at that descent we have now. That is uh, glorious. in a minute, but that is spectacular. Okay, so we've just come down that bit there. It was quite sketchy, Andrea, what, what, wasn't it? Oh gosh, your man has fallen. Oh dear. Um, that's not good. Right. But it was, it's sketchy, but if you just take your time, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, but that has been the worst part of the walk so far. <laughs> Without a shadow of doubt. Hopefully, there's no more, and that's it. Uh, this is still quite steep. And, and testing. Very testing, but we're coming close to the, the style that we could see from quite a way up. Yeah. I call it Eddie's style because I remember it from his video, and there it is, just down there. So we're very close to it now. There she goes. <laughs> it's wobbling, is it, Andre? <laughs> okay, there she goes. a lovely picture looking up towards the, the scaffolds. Absolutely gorgeous blue skies. There goes Andre. Oh, Andrew's saying her legs are shaking here. But you, you get an idea of the steepness of, of our descent now behind you. Like that is, that's, that's a bit steep. Really steep like. I'm glad we didn't go up that way. Now we are back at the Scaffold Pike path. 
Come on, we're at the end of the walk now. Back How have you found piece. it? How have you found the walk today? Very good. Very deep, uh, very steep descent. It's yeah. a bit hard on the old knees. Yeah, yeah. But we managed it. You've climbed Scaffold Pike now. How do you feel? Delighted. Good. Tick that off. Tick. Tick. Good. Tick. Let's go and a get. Big tick. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the car. Get back to the house. Almost seven hours. We've been out this morning doing Scaffell Pike and Ling Mayo. Great walk. Great, great walk. Very challenging though. That descent was particularly challenging. Uh, surprised us a wee bit. But we've done it. And we've lived to tell a tale. Thanks for watching.